Nothing can stop you from becoming wealthy. Nothing except the games you play. You say you don't play those games, but you do. Most people who want to be rich but find themselves living broke and dirt cheap lives don't even realize they're playing this game. It's ingrained in their daily routine. You'll find it in your life every day and the environment around you. When I was striving to live my dirt cheap life to make something of myself, it wasn't until I discovered the wrong games I was playing that my life started to change. The good life you long for is within your grasp. If you would learn to give up playing the following games I will be enumerating in this video. If you're new here, subscribe to this channel so you will miss other interesting videos like this. 1. The Blame Game This is one common game notable amongst millions of people who desire to be rich but are not. They are never the ones at fault. Others are always to be blamed for their lack. They blame the government. They blame their dysfunctional home. They blame their upbringing. They blame their friends. But it's never their fault. This is the truth. Your life won't change until you realize it is your fault and you take responsibility for your life. You may not have planned all that happened to you. And justifiably so. You may not have caused those things. But the responsibility to change your life rests in your hands. As Dan Locke wrote, Lame people blame people. The first game you must stop playing if you want to be rich is to stop blaming people. If anything goes wrong, blame yourself, dust yourself up and get right back into making things better again. 2. The Excuse Game Listen to me. There will always be an excuse, a reason why something cannot be done. It could be that you're sick. It could be that you don't have enough money. It could be that your family is terribly poor. It could be that you never went to school. There will always be a reason why something cannot be done why you cannot live your life successfully. But it is also for that reason that you must choose not to make an excuse. A few days ago, popular American actor Chadwick Boseman died at the age of 43. It was only after his death that it was discovered that all the time he was acting in over 10 movies, he was sick with colon cancer. In the space of five years during his sickness, he acted in almost, if not over 10 movies. Sickness did not hold him back. Nothing can hold you back from succeeding unless you allow it. 3. The Fearful Game The fear game is played by millions of people around you. Look at the man close to you who claims to desire to be rich, but isn't. Search very well and you will see that he is afraid of something. He is afraid of trying. He is afraid of failing. He is afraid of taking a risk with the money he worked so hard to save. And suddenly, it is all invested in a business he is unsure of. He is afraid. As long as you are afraid, you will never become all you are supposed to be. All that you will ever become is on the other side of fear. Give up fear because no matter what you want to do in life, especially when it is something great, fear will always be there trying to hold you back. It doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is going ahead to do what you want to do, especially when you're sure it is the right thing to do. Fear won't hold you back unless you allow it. 4. The Know-It-All Game Here's one thing I have observed about rich people. They may be self-made billionaires, yet they never got there all alone. Know-It-Alls always stay broke. This is why. The answer you don't have yet to your poverty issues is because you have not chosen to find the right person to ask that question. When you chalk up your pride and go after the right person to ask that question, you will be saved. Even if you're older, your answer may be with a young person who is richer and smarter than you are. We make progress running alone, but we fly when we work with others. Read books, ask questions, stay curious. Curiosity only kills cats, not humans. As Brian Tracy wrote, how much you learn determines how much you earn. 5. The Comfort Zone Game There is no place more pleasurable than your comfort zone. Yet, there is no place more destructive than your comfort zone. Most people who play this game find that they may have worked hard to get to a particular point, And so, as they begin to enjoy success, they want to remain. Even God told the Israelites, You have dwelt around this mountain long enough. It is time to move on. If they had stayed there, enemies would have attacked and destroyed them. In fact, those who stayed back and refused to leave were destroyed. Your comfort zone is that part of your life where you have become comfortable with. You can do a particular thing well, but you have not attempted to go beyond that. Successful people stretch themselves. They set higher goals because there is no end to the goals you can achieve. Don't ever get tired of pursuing fresh goals. Great things are always waiting for you ahead. 6. The Judgmental Game Picture this. Have you ever seen someone driving a very expensive car and you caught yourself thinking he or she must have gotten this money unethically. You're playing the judgmental game. It's not your business how people make their money. It's your business to appreciate that they're wealthy and focus on how you're going to achieve your own goal. 
Judgmental people have a bad view of their own worth, and since they do not think they are worth anything, they do not expect others to think they are also worth anything. Just because you feel low does not mean others should be at the same level as you. Appreciate others' success and strive to have yours. 7. The People Pleasing Game A lot of people are stuck at this point. This is one of the most common games people play that constantly leads them into a life of poverty. They always want to please people. In a bid to make other people happy, so many young people will not pursue their dreams. I know young people who would give up an idea just because a family member who is dirt poor and doesn't have a dream for himself said so. It's great to respect people, but never swipe them. Love people, but never let them take your dream. Pleasing people is something you would never be able to do because no matter how much you try to please them, one day you will do something that turns them off and they'll forget how you have been striving hard to please them while focusing so much on your one single wrong. Quit the people pleasing game if you want to be rich. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.